welcome to pokemon free guys and just a long back ago i posted a video on youtube but i just saw that i didn't have any audio in it so i'm gonna delete that video and i'm gonna again repost this video now which has the audio i don't do separate audio sorry to just do that all again so the concept of the video was i'm gonna react to diamond and pearl better sprites now you know pokemon is in its eighth generation and when each generation crosses over its other like in generation one generation one after generation generation one is one one into two is two, uh, uh, two. and after generation two generation three were the uh, generation one remakes then two into two four then generation four were the generation two remakes then generation three three into three is three into two is six so it was generation six for the generation three remakes so it's generation four into two is eight so now we are in generation eight so generation eight remakes are gonna be diamond and pearl or we, it could be generation nine we can't predict so according to this some data miners have found out the beta sprites of some usual unusual pokemon now let's talk about one of the most famous pokemon and i think one of the most po uh, pokemon that fans have been wanting to be in the sword and shield pokedex but it's not there i wanted metacross why there's no national dex in sword and shield like i really hate that i wanted metacross all right so first of all we'll talk about garcho now first of all this doesn't look like a land shark it looks like a before stage of an axe you and then it looks like some kind of a insect like some kind of a crawling little insect that just hops on coming it just looks like a land shark like garcho should be a land shark pokemon it's ground and a dragon type but this doesn't look like it at all it should i'm giving it now i'm gonna rate these also all right so i'm gonna rate this zero out of five it looks pretty dope then comes this this looks like some kind of a big dinosaur or something it looks pretty good uh it just looks like amora i think it should be the middle stage amora and aurora with so some kind of a color changing and some big kind of ice crystals around it that will look good and i think i'll give it rating one out of five it goes it looks good i can give you a negative uh, this review which i'm gonna talk about later because some are too bad then comes guard charm and i think it looks pretty good i think this looks pretty good it just looks like some kind of a dragon like you can see that it looks like palkia you can see that it looks like palkia it looks like a dragon it has some kind of sharp uh, things like this thing you can see over here and it looks pretty good i'll give it rating four out of five all right then comes togekiss i think this looks kind of good these things over here they're pretty good this is a beta version of it so these triangle things over here they look pretty good too and it's overall a very good pokemon i think i like this type of pokemon but it's not like all that charming like a pokemon like to, okay it should be a, a fairy this doesn't look like that this looks kind of a mega latios mega latios with some color changes so i think i'll give this three out of five it looks pretty good then comes more sprites or i should say all right why do dogs have to bark when I have to tell? All right. So first of all, uh, this thing should was a beta sprite of Giratina. Now look at this. This looks some kind of a big lion or something, and this was your Pokemon Devil. Now you can think it has wings and it looks like silver like, with those things and all. And so I think that this should have been the beta sprite for Silvali with wings so i think i'll give this review minus two out of five because this should be giratina this should not be the better sprite for giratina it should have been a better sprite for silvalli then comes arceus and this gist this better sprite looks of um uh, miss magis yeah this looks pretty dope this looks like the better sprite of miss magis like look at this 
how stupid this is Arceus is a god of Pokemon and someone who has created this should be really fired from Pokemon like this should be pretty I know these are beta sprites but come on you can make some trash and call it that this is a beta sprite for Arceus like you can't make a big circle and tell oh this is gonna be the beta sprite for a upcoming pizza that I'm gonna create that's pretty dope you can't do like that all right this was a god of pokemon and you <laughs> they should get fired really i don't think and then comes dark Ride, and this makes me change it to best sprites because this looks pretty good like you saw in the movie the rise of dark Ride, right? they there at last when the time and space collapsed then you you saw that Darkrai vanished and afterwards it was shown to ash that he was in kind of a tower it just looks like that it's pretty good and in the movie Darkrai had some big kind of arms this looks pretty good i'll give it a rating 2 out of 5 no 3 out of 5 yeah that's pretty good and this just looks just like coronavirus it's pretty bad you know you can just tell by it it's pretty bad just take this section of it and it looks looks pretty bad this was for an electric ghost pokemon i don't know what to say zero minus one out of five then comes these two carnidos beta sprite and rampados beta sprites then this makes me think hmm it's not the worst sprites these are the best sprites i could ever think these beta sprites are better than the original sprites even darkness beta sprite is better than the original so i think this one is pretty good this one is pretty good both of them far far i don't have to tell any things i don't have more explanation to do then comes yan mega and i think this is a pretty good design for some kind of a bug type flying insect or something they just made the color and made it so they swarm around but that looks pretty bad this looks pretty bad i'll give it a rating 4 or 5 it's pretty good then comes websequen and oh my god i just love that sprite that looks pretty good I'm giving a rating 4 out of 5 because look at its design. This pretty much looks like the entire beehive. The web sequence sh should be the queen of the bees and those pink wings looks pretty good. Uh, in generation 4 there was no fairy type so I think they discarded a beta sprite or something I don't know. But and that it looks like some kind of a jewel that pretty well fits with queen. It's pretty good as a sprite and i don't think any queen would have some kind of a red jewel or something they would have pink or purple that's pretty fits with the coloring then comes more mons and this is the uh, link to the website you can just copy it i'll have the link in the description you don't need to copy all right so more mons so first of all whoever created this i'll just show it okay wait 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 this part of pikachu they should be removed from the pokemon company they should be fired whoever created that beta sprite like look at it it looks like some pikachu with its spike things down now how will it be the mascot of pokemon looking at such a dirty way i think this looks pretty good this looks pretty bad just throw it like garbage good that it's a beta sprite just if it was a real sprite i don't think pokemon would be so famous as it is now and i would have just chucked it if this was a mascot of pokemon i don't care about pikachu but it's not my favorite pokemon it might be my most fifth favorite pokemon i think my most favorite pokemon is charizard you know it's you know that all right then comes this this is an espion this looks pretty good i'll let this is minus 5 out of 5 and this is pretty good it's 4 out of 5 then wobbuffet this looks pretty good it just has a kind of a hair that pretty fits the female sprite so i'll give it a rating 4 out of 5 no 3 out of 5 that looks pretty good then comes chimeco and i think i'll give it a rating of 3 out of no 4 out of 5 because you see this golden coloring that's pretty much 
is so good it just looks like some kind of a shiny to confuse your people it's pretty good and it matches this part over here so i think it's pretty good and then last part two important things you need to do first is like the video and subscribe the video i've been telling this forever and i'll keep telling this forever and please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video